Hi guys, it's Z, Zelda and RJ3. Welcome back to my channel. Happy 2021. I hope everybody is doing great. I'm here at this beautiful common park. I brought my notebook because I'm having severe memory loss issues. <laughs> so I had to write everything down. First, let's start off with the thank yous. Thank you for the cards, the emails, the DMs, the texts, and uh, all the Starbucks cards. Because coffee and uh, double shot is helping me get through everything right now. And music, of course. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah. <sighs> As you can see, I'm smiling today. I do feel a lot better. Today is one week that old man has passed. And does it hurt me? Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> it hurts a lot. But you know, you guys know with time, time heals all. And uh, doesn't make me go away, but it does take some of the pain away. So I thank you guys for spending all your time with me and checking on me and making sure that I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I'm doing as best as I can. I'm doing okay. Thank you so much. How are my boys doing? They were sad for a couple days and they went on about their life. You know, they both work. They both are keeping busy, and they're doing okay. As for me, like I said, the memory loss, I don't know what's happening. I go blank. I'm completely blank. I'm having a lot of trouble doing anything, any simple task. I'm having the hardest time. I tried making a granny square yesterday. I didn't even know how to do it. I had to go on YouTube. How to keep replaying it my mind something happened that night and it's like um it messed up the colors of the rubik's cube <laughs> so i'm trying to figure out what can i do to get my that part fixed i'm feeling very tired i feel very drained i can only take grandpa for I'll walk for maybe 20 minutes and I gotta come back home because I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I am eating. I'm not eating a lot. I am eating. I started taking my meds again. I started taking my antidepressants. They're helping me a lot so I'm not a, a crying fool out here in public. Another thing that's helping with my grieving is that this is the first time that I'm allowed to grieve properly. I'm not being rushed in any way. When my Tootie passed, which I'll put a picture here, my beautiful baby, when she passed about, uh, what is it, about nine, ten years ago, at least, I was still working a lot of hours, a lot. It, she passed away April 29th, and it was right before the, uh, the bags, the, where we collect bags for the post office, feed the homeless. And I'm telling you, it was so hard to work. And every dog I saw was Tootie, and I would just break down. I wore my hat low like this so nobody could see my eyes. And I kept my head down, and people were like, see, what's wrong, what's wrong? I was like, oh, allergies, allergies. It was really hard to grieve, knowing that you still have to get up and do what you have to do and keep going. This time was a different process. I got to sleep in. Uh, I've been doing a lot of sleeping in. I'm drinking lots of water, lots. Lots of coffee. <laughs> um, just, it was a different process and I think that's why I was crying so much more because I didn't have anything else to do but think about it. So. It's a different process. What did I do for New Year's? 
I stayed home, of course. I took a shower for New Year's. I cut my hair. I almost started shaving it. How was I going to do a Madonna Ballard? Hi, baby. I cut it. It's about right here. It's normally down my back, and I just took the scissors and wank, wank. Basically cut all the, the dead leaves, the dead with those things all entrails this is a problem I'm having I can't put words together the tails the bottom of the hair I don't know what you call it I, I'm not thinking right now I cut all that off and um, I'm going to leave this in too so you guys can see what's happening to me maybe you guys have an answer <clears throat> cut all that off and my hair feels so much better. I can wear it down when I go to bed instead of making my pigtails and I don't have to worry about waking up with dreadlocks because my hair is curly and very frizzy and if I don't make the little pigtails it's just fused together. New Year's Eve I made barbecue ribs and the ribs came out delicious. I used Linda's little tutorial that she gave me recipe my cookie they were delicious the rice I messed up I don't know I guess I put too much salt I don't know but it was salty the boys were like no it's really good mama it's really good they ate it New Year's Day I made lasagna my first time making lasagna the right way because the first time I made it it was a fluke I was supposed to be making stuffed shells and I couldn't find the stuffed shells so I saw pasta leaf things and I went ahead and used that. I didn't have the correct amount of anything but I used that and it came out really good. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about their 2021 goals and what they're going to do and if they're going to be in a yarn band and all this stuff. I have basically been on a yarn band since... Uh, the beginning of 2020 I bought one ball of mandala and I got reamed for it <laughs> reamed I also don't think I'll be doing any yarn hauls or any hauls of any kind so with that said I did not I didn't think it was cool to be yelled at for buying one ball of mandala it was just one ball and it was prior to red getting sick so my foes and my hose. I told myself I was not going to make a video until I had a foe. And like I said, I've been struggling. I can't remember double crochet, single crochet. Um, it's like my brain got a washing, a good scrubbing, and it took away a bunch of stuff. And I made. I looked, at I looked at a tutorial by Made by May. I'll put the link down below. And I found these two balls, which I've had probably a year. If you go back, you'll see that I bought them. I think I bought them at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember, but I think they're Premier Sock. They are so soft compared to the Croy Socks. The Croys are, are scratchy, and I don't want this. What is... Um, Bag of Day say scarfable. These are scarfable and they're bright colors and it was exactly what I needed. So I pulled out a G hook, which is something I don't normally use, but I wanted extra extra tight stitches. And I made a mask. I made a really cool mask. It fits great. It fits perfect, except what's going on here? <laughs> this mask covers more see oh it's not that much I thought it was a big difference it's probably like maybe half an inch off I guess I'll keep it I was gonna frog it but this is what I made I haven't sewn any ends in because I was really thinking about taking it apart. 
but I think I'll just tighten these more. I chained 40 on this. And I don't know how many rows I made. I can't count right now. But these two held double and I made this with a G hook because I am a beginner crocheter again. <laughs> it took about two to three hours, whereas this one took about half hour. It's also a bigger hook, thicker yarn, but I tried to replicate it with this sock yarn, which is, the texture is just incredible. This, the little frizzies get on my lip and on my, <laughs> you know, underneath the mask. This is great. I still may frog this and extend it so it goes wider, but we'll see. So that is my faux. And because I made the faux last night, I did promise myself if you finish that, you will be making a video today. And here I am. Uh, hose, I'm still working on the Christmas Ripley shawl by Moogly. I have not done very much on it. Just what you saw in the video when I was at the hospital with old man. I do have the Vlogmas 25, which I need to upload. And I still have the Rhinebeck when I went with um, Thelma Lou and Leo. And everybody, if you could please leave a message for Leo. She does read my comments and wish her a beautiful, happy birthday. Today's her birthday. She is sexy and 21 again. She's legal, she can drink, she can party like a rock star, she can do anything she wants. I love you so much. Thank you, my Leo. Feel better. Her back went out, so she's in a lot of pain. Last night, for snack, I made some uh, pretzels dipped in some of the meltaways. I think that's what they're called. And I had some, sprink some sprinkles. I said sprinklers. <laughs> I had some spring did it again I had some sprinkles in the cupboard and I put that on and this is how they turned out they were easy to make I probably made all those in about half an hour or less what took so long was waiting for them to get cold so I was sticking them in the freezer to speed up the process but other than that I was making a whole batch like in a few minutes. That was delicious. I ate a bunch of those. Now I'm going to go on to my DGY Bottle Cozy. Oh my gosh. You guys blew me away. You bought so many of these kits. So many of the patterns. Even DGY was like, wow, congratulations. And I was like, well, thank you very much. The pattern is for sale by itself. If you use my link, it lets them know I sent you. Also, the um, kit is for sale on DGY. If you use my link, it lets them know I sent you. You can make this. I used Alanya sock yarn, which I love. I love, I love, I love. It's so good. I'm making another project with that. It's going to be a forever project, but it's okay. Because right now I need something to just keep me level instead of stressing me out. So I thank you. Let me take a sip of my water. This was a hit. Thank you so much. Speaking of DGY... I got my yarn of the month club. So let's open this together. Sock of the month club. Yarn of the month club. Jeez. This is just a little snippet of what you're seeing of these uh, jumbled words and forgetfulness. I don't know how long it's going to last, but uh, if you guys have any suggestions, what vitamins I can take. I know there's one that really helped and I can't remember the name of it. If you can put it down below. All of the suggestions that you've had have helped me very much and I thank you. So let's look at this together. Is it blue? What? I got 
two balls. <gasps> Laura, Mad Mimi's crochet and farming. <sighs> Look. It's a gorgeous orange with purple and like a deep gray. What? We got two of them. Silk roving, silk roving worsted weight yarn. It's called Festive Cheer. Two of them. 75 yards each. Yes! Nicole! Oh, DJY! You never disappoint. Never, never, never. Here is the little booklet that comes with the box. It talks about the yarn. And let's see the patterns. It is a four worsted weight. For the knit pattern, it's hand gloves. There's always two patterns, a knit and crochet. Sometimes there's more than two. And for crochet, oh, my backs. It's also some hand crochet gloves. TGY, thank you so much. I tell you guys, yarn is life. Yarn is life and Starbucks. <laughs> That's really helping me right now. Yarn is life. Speaking of yarn is life, this is the yarn that I used to make this one. I used one cake. I used the inside strand and the outside strand held double and I crocheted, started from the bottom and now we're here. <laughs> Whatever works people. Whatever works to make me feel better, we're gonna go with it. So that's the end of my notes. I'm hoping I didn't miss nothing else. I wanna thank you guys for sticking by me and rooting for me just wanted to tell you thank you so much every comment every email every text every DM it is so helpful for the situation that's happening yes the pain will not be as bad I know that it's just at that moment when it happens you don't hear all you hear is <laughs> So, in time, I'll get better. Uh, the two videos that I'll be uploading is a Vlogmas 25 that is prior to Old Man's passing. So, you will see a lot of giggling and happy times. And also, the Rhinebeck one, which is way late. It happened in October, right before my birthday. So, that's all I have today. I thank you guys for joining me. And uh, I send everybody a big giant hug. Ugh. Big kisses and love and... Happy 2021. Excited for the new year. Can't wait to see what it brings for everybody. Hopefully it's just peace, love, and joy, and yarn. Because <laughs> yarn is life. Yarn is life forever and ever. Thank you guys again. And happy birthday to my Leo. I love you long time. Goodbye. just got back from Starbucks. I got me another venti double shot caramel brulee soy and the sleeve does fit the Trenta. And this is all you basically need. It keeps down on condensation, keeps your hands warm so they're not freezing. And it makes the drink so delicious. I forgot to enclose the, the copy of the receipt which I said I would enclose so that will be at the end of this video the total amount was 1047 whoo that was an expensive old man ay 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 but uh, like I said I was going to show the receipts thank you so much for your help <laughs>